Church is a good place to find good people. Don't be shy of the language barrier. Good morning! Magandang umaga! And maayong buntag! So we are chilling like villains here at Emma's room. We just finished eating breakfast and I'm just hanging out here with them in their room while they play. He wants to play too. You can just keep him on the ground. It's okay, it's okay. He can stand up on his own. Emma, you're so sweet, but it's okay. You don't have to help him all the time. Oh, oh not the clock, little guy. You want snacks? You want snacks? You want snacks? You want snacks? I don't know how to start this vlog. Um, what has been happening? Thank you so much, you guys, for all the comments that I got. For all the questions that I got um, from the video that I just uploaded yesterday. That video was the, well, so much for running. What? You can't open it? What do you want to open? Give it to me, come here. Go get it. Is it stuck in the turtle's head? Here, let me go get it. <laughs> let me get it. Oh, you got it. You got it. Good job. Yay! Ah! <laughs> Emma, do you want to change? Do you want to get dressed on your day, day clothes? Stop doing that. Stop putting that on your wrist. So Emma keeps putting this on her wrist or around her wrist. And, she, and last night, she got like a blue hand because of it. You're cute. It's you, amazingly right. Do you want to, okay, you want to wear a dress? She wear a dress. Okay, let's wear a dress then. Ooh, which one? Which one? Dress. Oh, that one's like a, for church, baby. You can't really wear that one. How about this one? Do you want this one? Yeah, this one's nice, right? Yeah, it's a cute. It's me, dress. It's me, Mom. Yeah. You like it? You look so cute and proper. You look so proper. Ah, <laughs> uh, somebody likes dress. She likes to wear dresses. You're gonna be like opposite of mama. When I was a kid, I never liked dresses because I felt like, you know, I'm too dark to wear a dress because dresses usually come with like your your arms expo exposed and your legs exposed and. When I was really young, I was really dark and I was really insecure of my color. I made, I actually made a video about this. You want some snacks? Mm. Yeah, snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Yeah, snacks, yeah. snacks, snacks, snacks. I know, give me some snacks. Dude. Good. 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 Yay! This is what I have been hearing for the past 20 minutes. They're playing in Emma's room. Oh 
Emma, do you want to walk? You're actually going to walk. Oh no, she's sleeping. Wake up! Do you want to walk? Oh no, she she fell asleep. Emma, wake up! There she is. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are going to walk. She's going to walk. I'm gonna carry this one. And yeah, for those who doesn't know yet, our stroller is flat right now. It's flat. It's from the previous video i made a video about it oh gosh it's so bright outside should i wear my hat i don't know wish me luck for putting him on my back instead of my front because that's gonna be tricky all right sit there for a little bit liam while i set this up all right so he's all set up now i just have to wear him here liam I have to tie my hair. Alright. Oh, good job, Liam. Good job, Liam. Ow, I just clipped myself. Huh. Nice, I did it. Are you good there? You good, Liam? I think you're good. Hey, little guy. Come on, let's walk. All right, Emma. Ready to walk? Ready to walk. Okay, let's walk. Hold Mama's hand. Stop. Well, okay, no running. Is it clear? Clear. Right here. This way. Go away. Clear. Clear. Don't run. Stop running. Da, 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 da. Hey, y'all. <laughs> oh! Do you have a client, Em? Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, uh, me! Play. Me! Play! It's got you up! Guys! Don't run, Emma! So I decided to just play here at our backyard instead of walking around the neighborhood because it's safer, no cars, and there's shade here, <laughs> literally shade here. We can go at the, to the desert over there, play with the sand, which Emma would love, but I don't know if this guy can handle all the sun. Okay, we're gonna go for a little bit, okay? We're gonna go in the desert for a little bit. And then we're gonna go back so you can take a nap, okay? No! Emma, it's funny! Emma, you're gonna take a nap whether you like it or not. Right. Mountains! Mountains, yeah, that's right. We're going to the desert.
got a strong-minded child. Very stubborn. Just like her dad. Maybe a little bit of me, but... Turn around now, come on. No, no, we go that way. We go that way, come on, let's go. Go away! Go away, I'm marching. No, we're not gonna go to the mountains. Go away! No, we're not gonna go to the mountains today, okay? No, we Maybe some other time we're gonna go back. No! To the no, babe! We're going back now. It's it's really sunny, but the wind is so cold. I probably have said this a million times in other vlogs too, but it really is cold. The wind is cold, but it's tolerable. It's not that cold. I mean, you can't complain. The weather's great. Not for these little tiny babies. Aww. Staying out here for too long is not good for them. Out. Oh, sorry, Liam. Did I poke you with the plant? Come on, Emma. Emma, come on. Let's go inside the house. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. That was fun, huh? So funny. Hey guys. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, that was weird. So the babies are napping, <sighs> so good. But anyways, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about how I made friends here in America. So the very first friend I have um, met or made here in America was when I got here, it was for, <sighs> Okay, so I got here in America in November, and it was the holiday season. It's the month when they celebrate um, Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving is huge here in America. And so Mike had a friend, uh, Mike's friend invited us to come over to their house because they throw, they're throwing a Thanksgiving party. And I was, I was like just three, three weeks, three weeks fresh in America I was like I, I'm re I was really fresh off the boat and that whole experience for me was just so overwhelming because I was in a house full of freaking Americans there's probably like 10 of them in there and they were speaking so fast so fast for like at that at the time for me it was overwhelming because first I'm really fresh off the boat. Second, English is my second language. Third, they were just talking constantly. And fourth, I was sitting next to the vent. Oh my god. I was so cold. I was sitting there having a headache, like, like nosebleed. I'm having the nosebleed of my life. And I'm like shivering from the vent. Oh, I just want to share you that experience. Anyways, um, that's how I made my very first friend is through Mike forcing me to meet. <laughs> Not forcing, but it's actually like a forced meetup, you know? It wasn't my decision to be friends with her, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I love the girl and we've been friends since since I met her. So yeah, I, I how I made friends. So... First, I made friends through through Mike, and then second, secondly, um, I had a job before. I worked at Ulta Cosmetics and Salon. I made friends with my coworkers, so that's the other way I made friends. You will meet different kind of personalities, different kind of people, different age groups. So, yeah, compared to like the parties might take me and to Ulta. Um, they are very different and at Ulta the group of people there are like we have the same age range but with Mike's co-workers wives they're like most of them are 10 years older than me the third way I made friends I found out that there's a Filipino American church near our house so I went there and that was 
that was awesome. Um, I met a few really good people and I met like really um, sweet old ladies and um, the community is just it's just amazing. Church is a good place to find good people for me. I just would like to add as well that maintaining a friendship here is way different than um, maintaining a friendship in the Philippines because in the Philippines um, I remember um, with my friends there I would just go and show up at their houses knock on their door and you will be welcome and they'll be happy to see you but here you have to actually let them know like in advance that you want to meet up with them really like very similar to like making an appointment because um, life here is like the lifestyle here is very different everybody has something going on and every, everybody has plans and everybody has like a really busy a really busy rush I don't know busy life oh good job Emma is that a circle good job oh another circle in the circle Daddy is home. Hey dad, I have a question for you. What is it like making friends here in America? I mean, because you've experienced making friends in Philippines already. So how is it different here? I, I don't know what it's like for Filipinos in the Philippines. It's different because when you're American in the Philippines, you know, pretty much everybody's nice to you as long as they're not trying to take your money. Uh, Okay, what would be your advice to a Filipina coming oh, coming here in America about meeting friends or making friends? Don't be shy of the language barrier. Really? Because that's like the first thing. Yeah, that's the main thing. The main they, thing, They usually yeah. hold people back, but... Uh, most people, Americans included, think it's like... You know, they think it's endearing, they think it's cute or funny. Or Is it? Really? When, when people, like, are trying to use the language but they make mistakes and stuff. Right. Yeah. They think it's it's cute? Because hmm? at yeah, least just like, just like when an American speaks Tagalog poorly, or Bisaya poorly. Right. It's, it's like fun to hear them talk because their accent's all messed up and they like put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllables and right. they, they misuse words and they like, they use literal phrases, you know, instead of, yeah. the, what, what do you call those? Figures of speech. Figure, yeah, figure yeah, they use They try to like yeah. translate literally so they end up saying things that yeah. don't make any sense, but you like, yeah. you get it because it's, yeah. but I don't know. I'm sure okay. there's a million other things. That's just the, the one, the main one. The main comes thing, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember when you took me to that uh, Thanksgiving dinner with Angie and Jeremy. I was just sitting there in the corner, not saying anything because you guys are like speaking English so fast. And I was like shivering in the corner because like the vent is like under my chair. <laughs> <laughs> and my head is like hurting by trying to take in everything that you guys are speaking or saying but yeah yeah I was like hiding with with Landon their two-year-old son and like playing with the with the little kid like trying to get away from the crowd anyways yeah so don't be scared don't be scared to speak the language don't let the language barrier hold you back from making friends so I'm doing my laundry on the dining table while I'm marinating our dinner. And daddy playing with his elbow. What is up, dude? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Yeah. Stop scratching your skin. That's just gonna irritate it. 